Welcome back everybody. It's time to get a check on the medal count at the Olympics and the US is barely ahead with 41 total though stuck at 14 in terms of gold medals. China has taken that lead with 19 golds and you can see just behind us in the total count at 40. The Russian Olympic Committee, Japan and Great Britain round out the top five. And as we look live at another morning in Tokyo, the focus for a lot of fans continues to be on Simone Biles and whether or not she will return to competition for the individual events in just a few days. While we wait on that answer, we are hearing from a lot of athletes, including some here locally, who are reflecting on Biles' decision and the pressure that comes with the spotlight on sports. Today, our Adam Benini had this exchange with Bill's cornerback, Tredavious White. You see someone like Simone Biles come out mm -hmm. and go through that whole thing. It, as a professional athlete and a performer at a high level, to what degree can you, what's your take on that and, and, and can you relate at all? Most definitely. Uh, just, you know, she's been doing it at a high level and her, the expectations on her is to continue to do it at a high level. And if she don't do it at a high level, you know, it's, it, it's so much backlash on it because the expectations are here. So it takes a lot. It takes a lot on a person, it's a lot that's on her, and it's a lot that's on a lot of athletes, man, that uh, it's just the pressures of trying to perform well on a big stage is just, it's something that I can't explain because it's just like, if you don't perform well, then you just, you're, you're not who, who you think you are or who we thought you were. So it's a lot of just being down, you know, when, when people don't perform well as people think they should, it, it's just a lot that you have to deal with. And if you're not strong and have a, a solid foundation of people around you to, to support you, it, it's, it becomes tough. And Adam joins us now. Your thoughts as really more and more of these athletes are coming out and kind of being open and reflecting on these important issues. Yeah, it's very interesting, Michael, uh, what it's all led to. And, and that was the point that White made in a comment prior to that one that he thinks it's really good that, that more athletes are open to talking about the issue and that Simone Biles had taken things to a whole new level in a positive way. The subject actually came up uh, when Bill's offensive lineman Cody Ford was talking about battling back from a knee injury, not living up to expectations early in his NFL career, working to be the best version of himself on the field and opening up about the fact he's been working with a quote, mental coach. I don't know if that meant a sports psychologist formally, but I asked him how it translated to the field. He says he's able to play with a clear mind, that he's better able to let go of outside factors and expectations, and that he thinks that it's going to help him very much looking toward the season ahead. By no means, obviously, is it a direct comparison to the Biles situation, but between his comments and then White's, it's kind of interesting to hear how there's some overlap there and how Biles' decision on the grandest stage possible, right, the Olympic Games in Tokyo, has furthered at the very least the discussion of it in sports, which was clearly the case today, Michael, uh, in Orchard Park. Yeah, it really is just opening up this important conversation in so many different ways, including from, you know, these these tough NFL athletes. Maybe you wouldn't expect to open up about something like this. It's right. nice to see. Right. The, the level of expectation, how to deal with it, how to seek help and how it could translate positively and negatively, obviously, uh, on the field and on the mat. Absolutely. More from training camp with you at 620 in sports, Adam. Thanks very much. You bet.